Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. All who call on God in true faith, earnestly from the heart, will certainly be heard, and will receive what they have asked and desired. Before the throne of the Almighty, man will be judged not by his acts but by his intentions. For God alone reads our hearts. The keys to patience are acceptance and faith. Accept things as they are, and look realistically at the world around you. Have faith in yourself and in the direction you have chosen. Doubt is a pain too lonely to know that faith is his twin brother. Faith is a knowledge within the heart, beyond the reach of proof. If patience is worth anything, it must endure to the end of time. And a living faith will last in the midst of the blackest storm. As your faith is strengthened you will find that there is no longer the need to have a sense of control, that things will flow as they will, and that you will flow with them, to your great delight and benefit. A casual stroll through the lunatic asylum shows that, faith does not prove anything. Faith is the strength by which a shattered world shall emerge into the light. Faith consists in believing, when it is beyond the power of reason to believe. Faith is to believe, what you do not see the reward of this faith is to see, what you believe. If fear is cultivated it will become stronger, if faith is cultivated it will achieve mastery. Faith is not something to grasp, it is a state to grow into. Every tomorrow has two handles, we can take hold of it with, the handle of anxiety or the handle of faith. Belief is a wise wager. Granted that faith cannot be proved, what harm will come to you if you gamble on its truth and it proves false? If you gain, you gain all if you lose, you lose nothing. Wager, then, without hesitation, that he exists. Faith and prayer are the vitamins of the soul. Man cannot live in health without them. He who has faith has an inward reservoir of courage, hope, confidence, calmness, and assuring trust that all will come out well, even though to the world it may appear to come out most badly. In the affairs of this world, men are saved not by faith, but by the want of it. To one who has faith, no explanation is necessary. To one without faith, no explanation is possible. A faith is a necessity to a man. Woe to him who believes in nothing. Faith is a living, daring confidence in God's grace, so sure and certain, that a man could stake his life on it a thousand times. Be a sinner and sin strongly, but more strongly have faith and rejoice in Christ.